Okay, good morning and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a wiffle ball. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, open up Design Spark mechanical. I'm going to be creating this with the uh, exact dimensions for an actual wiffle ball. So we'll go ahead and open up Design Spark. I'm going to go ahead and go to new, new design. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the, uh, let's see, let me write dimensions down, so give me a second. We'll go ahead and uh, All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the uh, uh, the actual holes are 19 millimeters. So we're going to go ahead and type in 19, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, go to pull. Select there. We're going to come over here to uh, pull from both sides, and then we're going to type in three, and then just type in in because I'm working in millimeters, but we're going to convert that to inches. So this is going to be the three inches. Actually, you know what? I want it to be a little bit uh, longer than that. So let's go um, go from both sides. Type 3.125 in. Okay, so we have a little little bit of breathing room there. Okay, so we're going to select this first one. And the first step we're going to do is go to move. And we're going to hold down the control key and grab the red. And then we're going to move this 90, just type 90. And then you're going to hold down control key and you're going to spin this one and type 45. So type 45, hit enter. And then you're going to go ahead and grab, hold down the control key, grab that red. And you're going to go, you're going to type 315. Oh, sorry, back up. 315. Okay. All right, so now you have all of these. So you're going to hold down the Shift key and select all of them over here. Then you're going to grab the green while holding down Control key, and you're going to rotate these, rotate it this way, 90. So type in 90, and then you're going to grab the green, hold down Control key, and then you're going to type 45. Okay, now you're going to grab the uh, green, hold down control key, and you're going to come over there to actually let's go come over here, let's go around like this to 290 degree. Oh, I got messed, messed up there. Hold on. Let's undo that. Hold down control key, grab the green. And you're going to spin it down, and then you're going to go all the way around till no, let go, type in 90, enter. Okay, so essentially you're going to have something that looks like this. So now what we want to do is we want to combine all this so it's just one. So go ho select that one there, and then you want to scroll to the bottom, hold down the shift key, and then you want to come over here to combine. And it's going to take a second to uh, combine everything, so just uh, be patient. Okay, so now we have one solid, which is what we want. So now we're going to go ahead and create a plane. We're going to go click on that plane. And then we just want to click the green there. And now we want to go click on the green, come over here to actually select and then get your selection tool click the plane come over here to plan view and then do this okay now we're going to go ahead and uh, let's draw a circle so we'll go ahead and get our circle tool and then we're going to click there we want to drag up so just type in three and then i n because we're converting it from millimeters to inches so it's 70 it's seven uh, 76.2 so we want to go we want the thickness of the wiffle ball to be 3.2 millimeters so what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, get my calculator out so we're going to go 
uh, we're going to make this 73. So we're going to do one in the middle at 73. Type 73. Okay, this is going to be our thickness here, 3.2. So now we're going to get our line tool. We're going to come up from midpoint there down to the bottom. Okay, now we're going to get our trim away. Right there, trim away our T on the keyboard. I'm just going to get rid of these. All right, get, okay, so now we have this shape here. So now we're going to go to pull. We're going to select this shape here. And then we want to do a no merge. Now we're going to come over here to revolve. We're going to click this blue. Then we're going to do a full pull. Okay, now we're going to go select to click off. Okay, so now you should have uh, two solids. So what you want to do with these, you're going to have the um, cylinders, then you're going to have two of the spheres. So hold down the shift key and get the two spheres. And then you want to come over here and combine. So you want you want to just have one. Okay, now we can go ahead and get rid of these. Um, let's undo that. Let's select to click off. Okay, so we should have one, uh, one sphere, and we should have the cylinders. Okay, so these we're going to get rid of. So right mouse click, delete. We don't need these. Right mouse click, uh, delete. Okay, so now what we're going to do is let's pan down a little bit. So now we're going to do the use the combine tool. So we're going to come over here to combine. We're going to select this sphere, and then we're going to select the cylinders. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and select the click off. Now we're going to scroll down to the bottom here. You should have. There should be uh, this one here should be the one with the holes in it. So we're going to select that. We're going to go to move, grab the red, and just drag this over. Don't need any of this stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. So we'll just select it. Delete. Now we're going to go to the isometric view. And this is going to be our, uh, our wiffle ball. Uh oh, something happened. I missed a. Uh, looks like I missed a. Something happened. It deleted that. Let's go see if we can fix that. Let's go back to here and then see. It's got all of them. I'm just not really sure where it uh, deleted. Uh, let's go undo. Let's do a couple of undos. So it looks like right there. Uh, let's undo that. Let's get back to here. And then we'll go ahead and go to move. And then we'll grab the red and move that over. Now let's spin that, make sure it's got that one on there. Okay, looks like that's that's right. So we're just gonna go ahead and um Let's just uh, don't, we want all of them, all of these solids. So just select that one, the second one there. Scroll down to the bottom, hold down shift key, and then hit delete and get rid of those. Okay, now we'll go back up here to isometric. And then let's go ahead and spin this, make sure that it's correct. Okay, this is going to be our wiffle ball. So what we want to do now is go ahead and save it. Um, we can just call this Design 2, go to the desktop, save it as a native file, and then we're going to go uh, Save As, and then we're going to drop down there to Save As Type, go to STL, and then we're going to go to the desktop, and then save it as an STL. Now what I'm going to do here is take this into uh, Rhino. I'm going to go ahead and add some colors to these. All right, so go ahead and go OK to that. Do millimeters, run without saving. 
And you see, I'm going to double click there. So I'm going to select that. We're going to do like an orange plastic. So we'll go to this material here. We're going to add create new, and then we're going to come down here to plastic. And then for color, we're just going to change that and pick an orange color right here. And then hit OK. Now we'll go to the rendering. We'll come down here to solid colors. And then we'll pick a uh, dark gray. Hit OK. Now we'll come up here to view and we'll scroll down to ray trace and then select off. We have to apply that. Forgot to apply it. So we'll go back to the color. With it, with the ball selected, we'll right mouse click, assign to object. Okay, so this is going to be our wiffle ball right here. Now let's go ahead and spin this. It's got, a, it's got a big hot spot there. So what I want to do is go to the rendering and let's uh, didn't want that big hot spot there, but I'd have to move the sun. I don't want to do that. So this is okay like this. So let's go ahead and make uh, a few of these. So let's just go um, in the command prompt, just type in copy. Hit enter. Select this one. And then we'll just click and drag over here. Put one there. One there. And then maybe one here. All right, looks like I got an extra one in there. Okay, so we'll just do three like this. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, move this. Type in move. And then we're just going to go move that over a little bit. Then we'll click this one here, type in move, and move that over a little bit. All right, so we're going to add some different colors to these. So let's do one. Um, go ahead and go back to the material. Let's add another color. Um, let's just do a gem one, see how that will look diamond let's do a ruby just curious how that's going to look and then we'll go right mouse click sign to object that looks kind of weird you can see through it so we're going to actually need to go to the uh, our rendering and add on the sunlights and you can see the reflection of this one in there that's kind of cool looking all right, so now we're going to select that one. Let's go up here. Let's add another color. Uh, let's go to, um, do you want to do a metal one? I guess we could do metal or we could do, uh, let's see here. We could do glass. That'd be kind of, gem is kind of neat. Let's go to gem and then on the gem types, let's type in, um, Down here, let's do let's do an emerald. That's a neat green. Right mouse click, assigned object. All right. Oh, something happened there. All right, let's spin this. Not sure I can get away with these gem colors. I think I might just have to make these um, a solid color. So let's just go back to here, go down to plastic, and then make this. Uh, we can do a red one there. Right mouse click, sign. And then we'll do this one green, but we'll uh, do an actual color. Plastic, change color here to green. Do a, we'll do a dark green. Then right mouse click sign. 
All right, looks like that's going to be it for these. Uh, let's select everything and then we'll scale it down. Hold down the shift key. Come up here to scale. Let's go scale them smaller. Okay, that looks good. Let's just go ahead and rotate them a little bit. Okay, right there. there. Just let the uh, ray trace uh, play out till around 400 or so, and then we'll we'll make a uh, picture of this. It's going to be our waffle ball. Pretty easy to create and design Spark Mechanical. 300. Okay, it's right around 400 now. Just going to go ahead and do a screen capture by holding down the Windows symbol plus Shift plus S's and Sam. Those three, and then we'll just take a uh, screen capture. Come over here to our paint, search, scroll down to paint, control V as in Victor, paste. I'm going to hit the crop button, and then we'll do save as JPEG desktop, call this wiffle ball, wiffle ball to desktop JPEG. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial uh, on how to create a wiffle ball in Design Spark Mechanical. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got some useful tips out of the video. And as always, thanks for watching.